Hey, I'm Kier, and this is that vlog thing that I'm doing. Continuing on with the whole Christmas music theme, uh, we're on to uh, number 11 now. The, uh, the last five were more um, sentimental songs, like intrinsically sentimental. So uh, songs like uh, the Christmas song, uh, songs like Peace on Earth and Little Drummer Boy with David Bowie and uh, Bing Crosby, uh, White Christmas, Edelweiss, uh, We Need a Little Christmas right this very minute, uh, a couple of songs from musicals and movies and everything like that, uh, all with um, a relatively uh, solid World War II connection, which is kind of common in American and, uh, I'd assume, British Christmas tradition at this point. Um, so this next batch uh, are much more uh, traditional songs in a couple of cases, and then some more popular songs in, uh, in a couple of the other cases. Uh, the first one is uh, one that's kind of a mix of both. Uh, it's O Tannenbaum, uh, also known as O Christmas Tree, uh, and that's one of those ones that everyone knows the tune to. Uh, so whether it's sung uh, in English or in any other language, uh, you recognize it, you know what it is. It's one of those slow, emotional uh, songs. It's got a lot of feeling to it. It's one of those ones that uh, gets people to snuggle together a bit uh, with their families and uh, sit back and bask in the glow of all the lights and sparkle of ornaments on the tree. It's, it's a nice song. It goes back quite a, quite a while. Uh, and it's still one of those standards that anyone who puts out a Christmas album does some version of uh, in some way, shape, or form. Uh, the next one is uh, one of the religious songs on this list. This uh, Little Drummer Boy uh, is the uh, story, because it's a song that also tells a little story, about this uh, little boy that comes to visit the baby Jesus and he has no money and no status, so there's no fancy gift he can give. So instead he just plays him a, uh, a song on the drum that he has. And that's one of the songs that really gets to the meaning, the deeper meaning, uh, even in the secular version of Christmas. And it's that it's not that we give anything fancy. It's not that we go out of our way to put on some huge spectacle. It's that we show our appreciation by giving of ourselves, by sharing our own creative energy with the people we care about, with the people we want to give gifts to, the people we want to share our lives with. Uh, and Little Drummer Boy really gets straight to the heart of that. Uh, and it's also a song that, that gets done in some very fun ways uh, in different, uh, different times. Uh, everyone's heard the standard traditional one, which just kind of meanders along, builds a little bit, and, and carries on. There's also some uh, very, very upbeat ones. Uh, one of my personal favorites is the one that they did on Animaniacs. Uh, and there'll definitely be a link to that in the description because it was a very unexpected thing to have this come up in a show like Animaniacs and for it to be done so well with both a level of respect and a level of fun, which is something that I think uh, we've lost a bit of over the years. Uh, to be able to deal with these religious aspects of the songs, uh, or these songs with religious aspects, without either being overly reverent or overly snarky about them. Uh, and I think that this one Animaniacs bit really nailed it uh, right in the right place where you get the respect and the fun. The two are not mutually exclusive. Uh, and that's something I think we've gotten away from as we've become more and more polarized 
uh, in our society. And I think that's a little problem. And uh, Christmas is the time where all that should be coming together and smoothing out. And it doesn't usually seem that way. Uh, next one is a fun, popular song. Uh, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Uh, it's a bouncy song. It's another one that Bing Crosby's voice is behind uh, very often. Uh, another one that gets done a whole lot. It's about all of the Christmas decorations going up. It's about everyone getting into the holiday spirit and uh, enjoying themselves and being nicer to people. Again, something I think we could use more of these days. Uh, so it's, it's a good, fun song like that. And as a counterpoint to, to that fun and bouncy uh, song, there's I'll Be Home for Christmas, uh, which is another one that gets tied to uh, World War II and other uh, sadder situations. Uh, it's the, the singer is talking about, you know, how they want to be home for Christmas, how they have all these great memories and these great moments they want to share, but there's not really a good chance that they'll be there for one reason or another. Um, they may not survive that long. They may not be able to get home uh, because they're deployed somewhere. They may not be able to coordinate the travel. And in a more general sense, they may not be able to make the trip. They may not be able to afford the airfare, or maybe their car broke down. Maybe they have to work. Uh, and, and it's that sentiment of Christmas being a big family holiday and when you can't be part of the family end of the celebration, be it your family or the group of friends you've chosen to consider family, uh, there's a real bit of sadness that can creep in there. So I'll be home for Christmas, if only in my dreams, is really a bittersweet uh, lyric in this song. And again, it's these things with this dual nature uh, that I really think people connect with in the holiday season because we've all had times where we couldn't be somewhere we wanted to be because of circumstances beyond our control. And uh, I'll Be Home for Christmas really, really tugs on that uh, a lot. And there's some fantastic versions out there. Um, that uh, just check out a bunch of them and you'll see some different nuances depending on the performer who's doing it. Uh, so that's, that's one of the other neat things about these songs that have been around and have been redone a lot is that the different nuances bring out different aspects of the songs. And one of the key songs that you see that a lot is Carol of the Bells, which is a more classical piece that gets reused all the time in all different ways, sometimes to great comedic effect. Uh, and, and I think it's fantastic that that happens. It's, it's a uh, complex bell tune, um, but because people don't really know most of the lyrics and they're kind of hard to hear anyway, people throw all sorts of different lyrics in with the same melody, and uh, sometimes they're really funny, sometimes they're really sarcastic, uh, sometimes they're really touching, and sometimes they're the original lyrics, uh, which makes stuff uh, fun to try to catch people off guard, depending on which version you play, because people don't always listen to the uh, lyrics that are going on and won't notice until you're well into the first verse, that these aren't the standard lyrics. So uh, that's one that people have fun with. I like that one because of that, and that's Carol of the Bells. So this group uh, of songs, uh, O Tannenbaum or O Christmas Tree, Little Drummer Boy, It's Beginning to Look a Lot Like Christmas, I'll Be Home for Christmas, and Carol of the Bells, uh, those are number 11 through 15 in this list of 25. 
Uh, you can go back and check the uh, last couple of videos and posts to uh, get the full list. But I want to know of this batch, which one's your favorite one and which version of it is your favorite one? Which one speaks to you? Which performer really catches the nuance that makes you enjoy uh, the song? If you like the stuff I talk about, give me a thumbs up right below the video. If uh, you're subscribed, thank you for being subscribed. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe so you get notified when these things come out. And if you know anyone else who might be interested in the stuff I talk about, share this or one of my other videos with them, and uh, we'll get them involved in the conversation. I'm Kier. That's it for today. Guess I'll see you tomorrow.